steering committee uh, provided recommendations for the new senior wing the 1st of June uh, of this year to the town council for review and approval. And as one of the committee members, we appreciate an update on the council's review status. My second question that follows with the wing and also the growth that we're having, we keep talking about bringing businesses in, but how do we provide the facilities of preparation and comfort to the people that are already living here? Does the town council plan on providing future funding and temporary facilities to the Apex Community Center to accommodate the population growth and its demand and usage of the current center? And that connects with the expansion. If we put a senior wing in, it will take probably three to five years. We're full, this, the Apex Center. Uh, where do we go for the next three years? We can't do anything. Our pickleball group in particular has grown from five, three years ago, to we had 38 players the other week. So it's just, there's no t opportunity for more programs. And I just think that the council needs to think about the funding and finding other facilities that we could use. So we keep the residents that are living here now happy. Because if we're not happy, then we're not going to have good words to new people coming in. Thank you, Ms. Foster. Uh, Jamie, you ready? Sure. All right, go ahead. Let's go for a few questions. Uh, I understand your concern. In fact, one of the biggest things the council gets uh, asked for for the recreation facilities. Really, what it comes down to is my budgeting. I mean, recreation facilities can be First responders and the fire trucks, police cars, and public works, making sure you have clean water and sewer and that kind of thing. So, I, while I understand your stated concern, I think um, it really comes down to budgeting and how much money you have to uh, budget. You know, you look at a tax increase, you know, that's one option. I'm not in favor of that. I'd rather live within our means and um, put the priority where they belong. So, I think we do a good job, however, balancing. We do building parks and you know, have more activities and programs. Maybe not be as fast as people like, but overall, um, I think our priorities are in the right order. So I appreciate your concern, and I think we'll do better to provide more programs as we grow. But it's uh, just a balancing act, and it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. You know, when, it comes to, when it comes to budgeting, we work long and hard going over those numbers and meeting with park managers what we can do, what we can't do, and we, and we put this off a year. So. It's really, a, it's, it's a matter, it's a function of budgeting. So thank you. Um, so I'll oh, did we have a Okay, so um, what I can, I'll talk a little bit about the senior center since that was, you know, the big thing that I really wanted to help work on and um, appreciate you really coming to all those meetings. What I would say related to that is that, you know, we all had the menu of choices as a committee that we looked at. And personally, I think people know that I just feel like I would, I personally would pay more taxes if it meant that the people around me, if children who have, you know, ability issues or mobility issues and older adults, you know, that's the way I would, I would pay more of my share if everyone can get what they want. There was a sidewalk, a multi-use path, all those things that we could do first because that's the way I look at things. Um, so if other people feel that, that way, uh, that they would like to see certain things, I think it needs to be expressed to us. Um, because if I can't, I make a decision on one fifth of a, of a group, but also I represent everybody, I don't just represent my, my household. So that's what I'll say related to that. So I think with the senior center, it is about the menu of options and the cost. Um, but I also feel like there's a cost if we don't take care of every type of person, you know, like, like I just spoke about. Um, so, you know, I will see if I can get back with you related to the senior center where we are. I do know the consultants had it, so the plans that we came up with. Um, also, you're right, as we grow, we have to do more for, for folks. Um, so I just think that continuing to raise those issues and how we can get that done. But it is money. Like I said, I'm willing to spend more if it means that everyone here gets what they need to get out and stay active. Um, I was on the steering committee with you and Paul and 
Mayor for Tim Dozier. And uh, I thought we came up with some really good ideas for the Senior Center. It was great to have so much citizen input in that because usually it's just us talking but to hear more from the seniors themselves and what they need. Um, I, I'm glad you brought this up tonight because I think we need to kind of redirect back to that and I get some answers more from our Parks and Rec Department about where we are with that and where that's going. Um, I, you all know I'm pro-growth and one of the reasons I'm pro-growth is because we're in pace for a lot of things and we're in pace for those parks. Um, it pays for those greenways. It pays for all those amenities that we love. Uh, I'll say it again. I, I don't want to throw any town under the bus, but I go back home to eastern Wake County, and the same two parks that are there when I was in high school two years ago are still there today. They haven't built any more. There are no greenways. They're, they're struggling to try to figure out how to put greenways in. And I look around at Apex and I go, this is unbelievable. Look at what's going on. I mean, I, I feel very, very blessed at Landon and Apex. And, um, and I know growth is, is paying for a lot of that. I, I moved here, I'm, I was a new at one time, and um, I, I think I've helped pay for a lot of that too. So um, I'm not about my taxes going up. I understand that you know, I have to pay for things, but um, that's where the new people that are coming into town, I'm counting on them to bring their checkbooks and pay their tax dollars to help support the amenities that we want for the quality of life that we have. It is a tax issue, and uh, we are somewhat behind the ball. Uh, the council did, re did raise our taxes roughly two cents, I think it was, I don't hold me to the exact number, last year. Um, I wanted to raise it three cents, so I guess I'm a tax guy. We look at our town staff, and the number of staff that we have per thousand citizens, and we are much better than practically any other county, if not any other county. So we're run as a very efficient town, I believe. I have no trouble asking you folks to raise your taxes if we can put infrastructure in. Not make a bigger town staff, but put infrastructure in, and that's where we need to go. If you want these amenities, growth does help to get some of this stuff in but we need to be willing to pay for them. If you look at Folly Springs, they have a higher tax rate than we do, and they're doing okay. Uh, it's not gonna bust the bank. I don't like to pay for more taxes than I have to, but I think that there's a responsibility that each of us taxpayers have, not only to ourselves, but to the people that are here that need these extra amenities. And I think we should be willing to pay for them and get them as soon as possible. add something. Um, as the chair of the Parks and Rec and Cultural Resource Committee, I got that right, <laughs> uh, the, uh, I think it's fair to say that we would all love to see our senior center come to fruition at town campus. Um, uh, of course, funding, that's going to be a big thing, especially with a lot of the stuff that we have on our plate right now. Pleasant Park um, is going to be a big undertaking um, as you leave town. Um, of course, let's have a few notes here, so forgive me for reading. Um, we're looking at parkland opportunities around Apex and ETJ, but it's difficult when a landowner wants two times his appraised value for his land. It, it doesn't seem like a wise use of taxpayer money to give him two times what his land appraised for, for a park. I mean, we appreciate the opportunity, but you know, we just can't do that. So we're looking at those opportunities around town. Um, Greenways, obviously, uh, the builders are building greenways, and it's going to be a big interconnected uh, East Coast Greenway. I think Apex has the majority of that completed in town. Um, so that, that's exciting that we have builders and developers put those pieces together. Apex Nature Park just came online not too long ago. Uh, the skate park, obviously, private funding helps a lot. Pleasant Park, I'd love to explore opportunities with a big corporate sponsor. Um, I guess uh, at t has their fiber in town, SAS soccer park, right? What about at t park or something? We collect a lot of money to help fund with that through sponsorships. Um, you know, I think we should continue to explore that. We just put in bathrooms at the Apex Community Lake. So we're spending money on, on some of those things, uh, but it, again, it all comes down to, to money and, and trying to keep taxes low without going crazy to you know pay for this stuff. Builders and developers coming to town they pay a large fee per unit for parks and rec. 
So we have a good offer to go do these things, but there's so much that demands our attention that we just have to decide kind of what's at the priority. And paying two times the price value to land is not on that priority, it's for parks. So the senior center thing, I think it's gonna come back and we're gonna see some some more plans and how to move forward with that for sure. I don't know if people heard her because she didn't have the mic, but she said that we should be responding back to the senior community and let them know what our remarks are. And I think you're right. I think we waited too long since we had our last meeting and we should, we dropped the ball on that. We should have done that. I will say too, I think Ms. Ms. Foster's comments are really about indoor space more so that we're losing. And so I think the way we've gotten, you know, individuals and corporations to sponsor things like at the State Plaza that we could explore or with Parks and Rec fees you know, I'm not staff, but there may be ways to explore that for something indoor. Um, and I would like to see us get the community behind those things and have naming rights for things. So I think that's what we should think about. I think you're focusing more on indoor space, not parks. Thanks. And I think I'll use this opportunity. We're in big.